we all learned a lot about ourselves in the last two or three years. And a subject that came up or that we, some of us became more conscious of, maybe we hadn't been paying attention to it, was the idea of burnout. Burnout is not, I'm having a rough week or even I'm having a rough month. It's for an extended period of time, I am experiencing feelings of collapse, exhaustion, fatigue, tiredness, weariness, an inability to get excited about my work, to really connect with people. These are some things that start to point to burnout. You don't have to feel this for a year or two or three, but if you're feeling it for more than a couple of weeks, you should have a little talk with yourself or even a long talk with yourself about whether you're experiencing burnout. When these questions come up online, I'll see people say, take this new modality and then everything will be fine. That's not how you fix burnout. Now, a new modality as part of a change of direction of your practice might be part of what you need to do with burnout. But let me ask you a couple of set questions first. One, have you taken the time to sit with these feelings, to listen to your body and say, am I just tired because I'm tired? Because it's February and I'm always tired in February. Or has this been going on for a while? And you usually need to sit somewhere apart from work, quietly, often by yourself, although maybe conversation with a friend, to get to the truth about that. And before you jump into, well, therefore I need to do X, Y, or Z, let me ask you a couple of questions that will get you at what might be some of the things causing burnout. One, have you been kind of trodden the same path in terms of your work and your client base and the nature of your modalities, et cetera, for about 10 years? I've got a video out there about the 10 year itch and you might want to take a look at it, but basically about every 10 years, we need to change things up a little bit. We need to progress. We need to take a new tack. We need to do something. It doesn't mean you have to leave massage, but it means you need to take a look at what's next for me in my life as a massage therapist. Another question, is your business taking care of you? Remember what I have said about a bazillion times, our massages take care of other people. Our business takes care of us. Is your business set up in such a way that it's taking care of you? Are you charging what you should be charging? Are you making the profit you should be making? Are you working the hours that make sense for you? Are you working in a location that makes sense for you? Is your business taking care of you. You might also step back and say, are there things in my personal life that mean I don't have enough to give to my work life? Many of those things may be unavoidable. And it may be that your personal life has got so much going on, there's just not enough left for you at work. And I don't have an easy answer to that. But if you recognize that's what's going on, then you know where to direct your efforts, if at all possible. Are you maintaining healthy boundaries with your clients, especially emotionally, psychologically, energetically? If you are putting out too much of yourself, and by too much, I mean you're not getting something equal or greater back then you're going to be depleted long enough to hit burnout. Is it time to step back and re-examine your boundaries? Not, am I physically inappropriate with my clients? But, and I see this a lot, am I fuzzy with my boundaries emotionally, energetically, or psychologically? And that may mean you need to sit down with another professional and explore what you need to do to take care of yourself. Um, are you 
Are you avoiding a change you know you need to make? Because when you know you need to make a change, but you go, nope, 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 not going to do it. There's a war going on inside of you. It's not a violent war. There are no guns. But your brain and your heart are fighting with each other. And that's exhausting. So again, take some time. Do you need to make a change and are you avoiding it? Because that'll wear you out after a while too. And finally, is burnout a sign that it's time to do something else? Something else other than massage? Something else other than body work? Is it time for massage to become a secondary source of income rather than a primary source of income? Is it time to change your life as a massage therapist and possibly to walk away from it? Sooner or later, we all have to walk away from it. Death, retirement, change of profession. Everybody leaves massage eventually. And is it time for you to do that? So if you're experiencing burnout or you suspect that you are, Take some time in a quiet space by yourself or with a trusted listener and ask yourself, have I hit the 10-year itch? Is my business taking care of me? Is my personal life requiring so much of me that there's not enough left for my work? Am I giving away or having fuzzy boundaries around emotional, energetic, psychological issues with my clients? Is it time to take on that change that I've been avoiding? Is there a change I've been avoiding? And finally, is it just time? Is it just time to step back or step away? Burnout should not be something you endure for an extended period of time. That's pointless. Um, but you are the only person who can decide if you're there and what you can do about it. Now, I said the only person, another professional can help you as well. But burnout is a sign that you need something you're not getting and you deserve to get what you need.